What's up, Monero fam? Chill. Do you know what time it is? It's the weekly Monero roundup. roundup. Welcome back, my devilishly smart Monero fam. And the biggest news this week is that Cake Wallet added um, Bitcoin. So mm -hmm. now you can have your cake and your Monero too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so um, if you want some more details, Justin and we created a video and it's the description um, box below so you can learn more about this. Yeah, it's super cool that you're able to hold Bitcoin and Monero in the cake wallet right now, right? Yes, and plus a lot more people will be introduced to Monero from the Bitcoin folks, so... <laughs> That's always good. Yeah, we might lure them away. <laughs> I'm sure some will defect. Uh, Alright, awesome. In other Monero news, um, helping to further pump the king of privacy coins, Monero, um, Anchor USD has listed Monero on their online trading platform. Um, they are centralized, but it's a commission-free trading. Um, I think you can earn some interest on your deposits as well. And uh, they have a bunch of other cryptocurrency pairings in addition to Monero, if that's your thing. And um, it, I was shocked to find this out. They actually didn't limit the trading of GameStop uh, when all that crazy stuff went down. So. Yeah, that might be a, a, a plus in their column. A brownie point? Yes, <laughs> one brownie point. Keeping the Monero code secure is a big job, and it's a very important one. And because of this, the Monero Research Lab and the Monero Audit Work Group are now looking for a second auditor to, to audit bulletproofs and the Monero code. Yep, um, the audits are definitely a huge part of keeping the code base safe. And uh, I think what you're referencing is the Bulletproofs Plus Range Proving System. Um, I don't know what that is, but I'm sure someone out there does. And <laughs> there's probably a lot of fancy math involved that uh, makes sense to somebody. Sounds provocative. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, the, if that code um, is currently being reviewed right now um, and audited. Uh, but I think there's some interest in the community for a second audit, which uh, makes sense. I want to make sure all the, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed when it comes to that type of thing. Um, so yeah, if you are out there and you're an auditor, you might be able to make a buck and contribute to Monero while you're at it. Sounds like a win-win to me. Uh, what do you need to do? You should email justin at monero.space. He can uh, help get you onboarded and uh, yeah. Hook you up. Let's not beat around the bush. If you are uh, looking into Monero just now, you are a bit too late, but not too late. <laughs> okay, okay, good. <laughs> there are some institutional investors who are looking into holding and adding Monero yep. to their portfolio. Mm -hmm. And to that extent, the Monero community recommended one particular company that's based in, in Canada that supports mm. Monero. So Yeah. They're named Balance, or their website rather, is balance.ca. Um, I'm assuming the company's name is Balance. But they're <laughs> set up, yeah, they're set up to uh, provide custody for institutional investors who want to want exposure to Monero, who want to hold, actually hold Monero, even though it's being held by balance.ca. But you get the idea. It's, it's institutional money, you know, rah, 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 as That's everybody. Yeah, as everybody uh, seems to think in the crypto space. So it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. We did not bet balance.ca at all. Um, so, you know, do your own research. But yeah, like Chill said, if you're an institutional investor, apparently that's somebody you should check out and uh, have them help you out with your custodianship of Monero. And you can have the Monero without the technical headache. Yep. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> well, me. I like the tech. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and lastly, but not leastly by any means, Sovereign Street Art, we want to shout them out. They did an awesome job sending over like 200 or something stickers to like places all over the world, different continents. Um, and there was, uh, yeah, they were showing up on street corners, on light posts, and uh, at crossings and things like that, like all over the world. Um, I think they earned a couple of Monero too and donated that. To um, Fellow Wallet, which is a, 
free and an open source Monero wallet. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. Very yeah. nice of you. Yep. And I think that does it for this week's uh, Monero Roundup. <laughs> yeah. And we do this next week too. But you guys already know that. See ya. Have you ever woke up in the morning with an attitude of gratitude and thought, darn, I really wish I could buy a cup of coffee to our privacy first responders? The Monero devs. Well, you can and you should visit ccs.getmonero.org and click on donate. And any support is great support. It can be the cheap 7-Eleven coffee or a fancy schmancy Starbucks extravaganza. Whatever you want to donate, the chump change that's in the bottom of your Monero wallet, it will be graciously welcomed. And everyone who, who knows how to read, sorry, <laughs> everyone who knows how to read loves this book, and you would too. Yes, and you can order it directly from the Monero community. So that's it for this week's Monero news. Remember, keep hodling your Monero. You can feel its presence. You just